Good afternoon, ladies and and I'm John Susbury, a true and welcome to The Last of Us Part 2, and oh yes, I am very happy to be jumping straight back into this one, because I know I was seven years late to the party, but I only just played the first game, only just finished it up, so for me, it's all still fresh in my mind, it's all still new, and I cannot wait to see where it goes next, because that ending to the first game, what happened then, the bloody twist right at the end in the hospital. Yeah, there's there's a lot to unpick. I've still been thinking about that. I've got thoughts and feelings about all of that goodness. So uh, yeah, very happy to be jumping straight in to see where we are, what's been happening and what's gonna happen next. I should say, by the way, this has been played on an original PS4, don't actually own a PS4 Pro, and I'm going into this completely fresh. Those leaks that came out, what was it, like uh, a few months ago, I completely avoided them when they came out, so I am going into this completely fresh, let's flip and go. Though just for fun, as I've just come off the original game, and as you know, I roughly know what I'm doing, yeah, let's ramp up the difficulty to heart. Ooh, we've got a new visual motif. It's not fireflies anymore, it's butterflies. Presumably this is symbolic for some reason, like Ellie was a caterpillar, but now she is a butterfly or something. Keep an eye on that, the butterfly's probably a metaphor. See, what did I tell ya? Butterfly, symbol, iconography. I don't know what happened. I was supposed to take her to the fireflies and walk away. You go halfway across the country with someone. She needed her immunity to mean something. Maybe I was starting to buy into that old cure business. Maybe I just wanted to do right by her. And then we made it. We found the firefly. Is he confessing? Because of her, they were actually going to make a cure. Who's he confessing to? The only catch. It would kill her. Doctor? What are you doing? I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Tommy. Jesus Christ, Joel. What do you do? I saved her. In my defense, I didn't actually do that. I just shot him in the knee. Come on, baby girl. I got you. I got you. <clears throat> Cover the exit. Don't let him get away. Shit. That's a lot. What does Ellie know? I told her they just ran some tests. I told her her immunity meant nothing. I'm not sure she believed it, though. I think afterwards she might have known. And she believed you? Didn't say otherwise. <sighs> we 
we should head back. If he's only just telling Tommy, then this must be fairly soon after the events of the first game. And yeah, it's clearly, uh, it's clearly eating at him. If he's had to confess straight away. Tommy will keep the secret though. Tommy's got bad blood with me. Tommy's not happy. Last time we saw Tommy, he wasn't, you know, happy at all with that whole business about how I was, you know, blatantly a raider and a nasty person and did horrible things that, you know, meant that he couldn't sleep. So, whether he'll actually keep that secret, who knows. And yeah. Here we go. Plenty more bloody corpses. That's probably my doing as well, to be honest. Sure. Let's just uh, get after get after Tommy here. See what he's got to say for himself, if anything. Because I suspect he's not going to be uh, thrilled with my decision. Because Joel didn't want to overtly say it. But yeah, my take on that was uh, what Joel did was selfish. Hugely. Hugely selfish. He took Ellie's agency away from her. And sure, so did the Fireflies. But... I didn't do any better. I didn't give her a choice and then I lied to her about it. Purely because I wanted to, you know, keep her as my daughter. This was just, you know, and again. I suppose saying it out loud, I can't really blame Joel for that. He's clearly still suffering from the trauma of Sarah. Alright, he didn't really... Yeah, okay, fine. You know what, I've literally just convinced myself maybe I was a bit mean to Joel at the end of the first game, given... He clearly never really got over the whole trauma that he was dealing with. But let's be on our way. Ooh, everything's prettier. Which it should be, because, like, you know, seven years in the future now. So, uh, all right. Me and Tommy just having a, a lovely, lovely little run here. Controls seem to be uh, about as they were. There we go. There's the... Wait, did that town ever have a name? That was the town by the dam, so it's got power and walls and stuff. But... I can't remember if it ever actually had a name. I just called it Damnation as like a pun, but like, I can't remember if it had a name. Maybe it's just the name of the power plant. And hang on, hang on, hang on, there's a sign. There's a sign, there's a sign, there's a sign. That's not a sign, John, that's a giant light. Okay, now that's a sign. Yeah, we're in Jackson County. And like the city of Jacksonville is somewhere nearby. That's some nice looking water. So... I don't know whether, like, we just call the place Jacksonville. It's not Jacksonville. Jacksonville's a nearby city. Probably abandoned, filled with raiders, cannibals, your usuals. What can you do, eh? But yeah, for the time being, let's just uh, head back to town, meet up with Ellie, and see how far in the future we are. But if I'm only just confessing, and yeah, based on the fact my face looks broadly the same as in the flashback we just saw. We can't be too far in the future. We must be broadly not too long after. Though, then again, maybe it's taken me a while to choose to confess. Actually, surely if I'm only just telling Tommy, Tommy would insist on knowing what happened after, you know, I sort of uh, went to do this thing and took one of his horses and didn't bring the horse back either because, you know, the horse got shot. In fact, how did we get back here? We didn't have a horse anymore. Maybe we took... Oh, yeah, we stole a... We stole a car. We stole, uh, in fact, Marla's car. Which, you know, is particularly bad because we just murdered her. Don't tell Ellie that either. She'll probably be a bit on the upset side. And... Here we go. Got ourselves... Stop. Identify yourself. Right, so... Yeah, we treat, uh, security seriously. And fair enough, this is a world full of uh, raiders, monsters, uh, etc. Gate East 2. Power, light, guards. Okay, we are organising. And I swear the last time we were passing by here, Tommy said... What did he say? He mentioned the number of families that lived in this community. And I can't remember the name he gave, but it wasn't much. It was like seven families, 20 people, maybe 20 families top. So, yeah, feels like however long it's been, it's grown. It's grown significantly because we left this place in summer going into autumn... And then it was spring before we made it back here. So it's been best part of a year just during the events of the first game. And then, however long's passed. So, okay. Life has moved on. And then 
indeed plenty of horses by the loot seal bed. Come on. It's okay. I got them. You go on. You sure? Yeah. About what we were talking about earlier. I can't say I'd have done different. I'll take it to the grave if I have to. I'll see you later. Okay, that was a really nice thing for him to have said as a brother. Alright, just reassuring me that he doesn't judge me for what I've done. And that, you know, he's willing to keep the secret. That was... that was nice. That was nice that he said that. Ellie doing some drawing. Yeah, there's our girl looking a little more grown up, but not much. Can't be more than a year or two uh, older than what we've seen. Ooh. Ellie? Ah, hang on. The Walkman that was mentioned in Left Behind. Don't sneak up on her. She's really stabby with people that sneak up on her. You know this. Oh, there's the robot in the background. The robot from Henry and Sam's section. Do not surprise her. Oh, Jesus. This gave me a heart attack. I tried knocking, but... Hey. Hey. What's up, Joel? Just checking in. Folks are, you know, talking about how impressed they are with you and how well you're helping out. Oh, she's got a rocket lava lamp. It's good. Yeah. Tommy and I went out riding the other day and he, uh... <laughs> they told me a joke and I, I thought about you. It's, um... Oh, shoot, no, I forgot it. Uh, something about a clock. How do you... Joel, it's, uh, it's pretty late and I gotta get up in a few hours. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I'm gonna get out of your hair. Just, um... I, w I want to show you something. Just give me one second. Okay, grumpy murder dad is now awkward murder dad, who is emotionally incapable of saying, hey, I'm just visiting you because I love you, because he's emotionally not very good at things. Some folks call this thing here a guitar. Funny. You want to hear something? Okay. Oh my goodness, he's going to sing for her. Okay. Like Ellie wanted him to do in the college. Oh my goodness, we're finally going to get the... He's finally going to do it. Promise me that you won't laugh. I won't laugh. I won't. I'm trusting you. <laughs> oh, okay. We're doing a- oh! We're doing a thing! Ah! We're doing- we're doing music! Oh, it's actually interactive! Also, I just noticed, she in the background, she's got- she's got an astronaut doll, like an action figure or something, and an astronaut poster. She said in the college, if she'd had a choice, she'd have been an astronaut. So... Yeah, she's now interested in space stuff. Oh, that's really cute! That's super cute. Okay, and then... F... E... Wait, B, B, B. Okay, I don't play guitar. Like, once upon a time when I was a kid, I played violin, but I don't remember B, betas or anything going on here. And then C. Okay, I'm guessing those are the strings. What, what are we doing? And, uh, uh, no, no, sorry. My, must, what, what are we, what are we doing here, Joel? 
Joel, you said you'd sing for her. If I ever were to lose you, I'd surely lose myself. Everything I have found here, I'm not found by myself. Try and sometimes you'll succeed to make this man of me. All my stolen missing parts, I have no need for anymore. Yes, I believe, and I believe, 'cause I can see our future. Days, days of you and me. Oh, we finally sang her a song. There you go. Well done, awkward murder dad. Well, that didn't suck. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. She's yours. No. No, 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 no. I don't know the first thing I about this. I promise that I teach you how to play. You did. What do you say, tomorrow night, first lesson? Deal. Okay. All right, so everything's on fire and everybody's dead before tomorrow night then. Good, good. Do you remember the joke? What is the downside to eating a clock? You don't get seconds. Something to do with seconds. It's time consuming. Oh, my joke was better. My joke was actually better. All right. It's my so punchline dumb. was better than his. Yeah. Good night, kiddo. Okay, I like how Joel's mellowed out a bit. I like my awkward murder dad. Awkward murder dad's great. Ah, four years later. Okay, the camp didn't burn down that night. Marvelous. <sighs> Fuck. Hey. Morning. Sorry, I totally overslept. Just give me a minute and I'll get dressed. I heard you had quite a night after I left. I... She kissed me. It was just Dina being Dina. She didn't mean anything by it. I was talking about your fight with Seth. Wait. You kissed Dina? Oh. I thought this was... We're broken up one week and you make a move on my girl? No. <sighs> she was probably just trying to make you jealous. I didn't... I would never... <sighs> Fuck, this is awkward. I'm messing with you, man. I don't care. Get dressed. <sighs> You're the worst. It's kind of fucked up you did that. <sighs> Stuff together, we're already late. Mm, smells fine. Oh, good alley. Right, okay, so we need stuff. Presumably backpack and... Uh, where am I right now? Uh, so tired. It's looking a bit housey. This doesn't look like where I expected to be. Where am I right now? Because I don't think, well... That's a... That's a fairly big house with brickwork in it to still be inside Tommy's town. So, okay, four years have passed and I've gone 
somewhere else, which is fair enough, I suppose. You know, four years on, that would put me... Hang on, Ellie identified... She gave her age in Last of Us 1. I think right at the beginning, she said she was 14, but almost 15. In that very charming teenage way, she did. Yeah, this is definitely a proper house and whatever. But then again, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's... This is the same place. No, this is the same place we were in. That's... That's the same. Okay, never mind. We're in exactly the same place we were. There must have just already been houses here. We must have just, like, you know, built around an existing town, which does make a lot of sense. So, okay, never mind. Ignore me. I'm wrong about everything. All right. Gun, thing, whatever, together with... Ah, journal. Sure. I'm guessing we're doing, like, you know, Life is Strange style uh, journal writing to fill in any gaps in the story. And, uh, oh, that's Savage Starlight! Yes, Savage Starlight. Boom. Together with robots. Any other bits and pieces? Any of the rest of that I recognise? Uh, animals of the past. I'm guessing you're mainly interested in the giraffe page because it is always bloody giraffes. Yeah, planets, astronomy, painting, something. Pioneers of science over there. Okay, so yeah, you're sort of uh, super into all of that business. Anyway, I've got my stuff. Let's flip in. Go together. Aha! Is Joel up? Infinite knife. <laughs> That sucks. Yep. Can't imagine they got much sleep. Definitely not as much as you. <sighs> Shut up. I was just about to get up. Mm -hmm. I was. All right. Infect to take out. Yes. So okay. Apparently, in four years, we've done a good job. Moving into existing housing, something, it's something, up. something. We were talking to town this morning. <sighs> what? Let me see if I got this right. You kissed Dina. <sighs> she kissed me. Which triggered Seth to call you a not so nice word. Yep. Then Joel decked him. More of a push. And then you got mad at Joel. That part confused me. It was a strange night, man. Alright, so we already knew Ellie was uh, into girls because, yes, of the whole business with Riley and Left Behind. So, uh, not too surprising, but apparently somebody didn't know that. Maria wants a word with you. Where is she? The diner. Oh, is this about Seth? No clue. Just tell her you never saw me. <laughs> nope. Where's your fucking loyalty? Excuse me? Alright, so yeah, society seems to be working pretty well here. We got ourselves some lovely little greenhouse sort of things so we can grow fruit and veg, even in winter. Very, very cool indeed. And yeah, I need to go see Maria. That was uh, Tommy's slightly terrifying wife, if I recall correctly, who we met at the dam in the first game. So uh, yeah, I'm guessing we need to have a word about, you know, there shouldn't be violence in town. Hey, so we're okay, right? You and me? Yeah, of course. Dina and I are done. I know. I just... I don't want you to think... Ellie. We're cool. Promise. Thanks. Okay. Either we've extended this town into a nearby town, or we moved at some point. Because this all looks a little bit too well put together for a bunch of survivors... Four years on. I feel like we might have moved into a different town. Oh, pet the dog, pet the dog, pet the dog, pet dog, pet dog. Good dog. Hey, old timer. Yeah, get a good scratch. Oh my goodness, are you the same dog that Joel met at the dam? Are you actually the same dog? You might be. I can't remember what that dog looked like, but if we've identified the dog as old, like five years on, could be the same dog that's easily within even a large dog's lifespan. So, okay. Hey, Yes, I'm coming, I'm flipping coming, it's fine. I know what you said, the diner. I presumably canonically am supposed to know where that is. Here we go, the tipsy bison. So, time to go and have a chat with Maria, who Joel was definitely a bit on the scared side of. Wanna grab some breakfast? No. Where's Maria? In the back. Excuse me. Ellie. There you are, come here. Seth's got something he wants to say to you. I don't want to hear what that bigot has to say. Do it for me, please. Fine. 
Seth. Seth, come here. Hey. Uh, look, last night I was, uh, I was drinking too much. Sure. I'm trying to say I'm sorry. Maria tells me that you and Dean are headed out. I, uh, made you some sandwiches. Okay. Your steak. Thank you, Seth. Yeah, well, uh, you be safe out there. Yep. I appreciate that. What you got there? Bigot sandwiches. Mmm. Smells good. They're yours. You sure? It's fine. Let me walk you out. Okay. All right, due credit to Maria. Obviously, she's got a town where there's going to be some folks who, you know, aren't going to get on with some other folks. But she's doing her best to make people, you know, play nice with each other. Even if, you know, probably Seth still believes exactly what he already believes. Uh, she basically sat him down and said, you are going to apologize. You are going to make amends and you're going to keep it to yourself. So uh, fair enough. Maria's doing a good job running the town and uh, we've got a thing. Okay. And the Keen Twins. It's like a superhero card. And top trumps. 20 brains, 20 brawn. So, okay. These guys are full on hero. Possibly this is part of the Savage Starlight universe? I'm not sure. Oh, that's cute. One's blind but can hear really well. One's deaf but can see really well. So they hang out together. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. I like that. Right, so I'm guessing this is the new collectible. Gotcha. So, keep your eye out for the sparkle sparkle. There's still collectibles uh, dotted about somewhere. Okay, so me and Dina, apparently we've got a bit of a thing going on, potentially, whoever that is. Uh, let's be on our way, shall we? When you go out, I want you to trade off with Tommy and Joel. Those boys have been up for far too long. Where do I meet them? If you go up to the Northwest Lookout, they're scheduled to arrive later today. But watch yourself. I mean, there's too many sightings of infected recently. Of course. I was going to check out the creek trails. I'll need someone else to cover it. Ellie, you know the creek trails? Not really. Dina's done it a bunch. I'll have the two of them take it. Well, that's all that. Okay, we've got like a hierarchy going on here. Ellie, can I talk to you for a sec? And Maria wants to chat. So, yeah, it feels like there's some form of proper hierarchy here, which is he just had the authority to say, hey, I can tell these two more junior people to just do this for me, and Maria was fine with that. So, yeah, there's properly a little social structure going on here. But hang on, I want to learn more about the universe. So, yeah, student of the month. Obviously, we've got schooling going on here. And, uh, aha, check for frost on plants, bleach toys, uh, fire safety, uh, bleach toys. Ah, because spores hang around, so they have to constantly, yeah, make sure things are properly cleaned and whatnot. So, uh, due to space issues, the lost and found is now located at the end of Main Street in the leather tannery or something. Probably not tannery, because that would smell. Wait, they might do their own leather tanning. They might do, but it really smells. They might have to go back to the ancient way of doing it, involving urine. Urine and horrible, horrible smells. Right, let's have a chat to Maria. So, Look, I don't know what's going on with you and Joel. <sighs> Maria. Guy really cares about you. And I'm sure he didn't mean to. We're fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry to pry. Ah, Joel's being overprotective, Murder Dads. Thanks. Yo, Dina, assignments. <gasps> Just give me a minute. Can we get your girlfriend to the stables, please? Dina, can I talk to you? <laughs> hey, guys, I'm tapping out. Come on. For how long? Whew. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, she's into me. Um, 
I just want to say sorry for running off last night. Oh, that's, it's okay. I totally get it. I, <laughs> I just, I felt bad. Why? Because I, I started the whole thing and I just, I shouldn't have kissed you in front of all of those people. And no, you were drunk, that's fine. Well, still, I just, I don't want you to think. No, I'm not reading into it or anything. Just... You know what I love about you? How you let me finish my sentences. All right. Well, we should probably get going. Oh, yeah. Ow! What the fuck? I'm not even playing! Because you're a chicken? You're a chicken! <laughs> I hate this kid so much. You want to fuck him up? Yeah, I do. Yeah, combat tutorial Back with snowballs. You better run, you little shit. Holy shit. Get to cover. Go. All right, go down and then. Oh, we get the auto lock on. Yeah, we get the auto lock on. Fine. So the auto lock on's the thing. Then we grab a snowball and go. Oh, dear. Got myself. Go, go, go. Ah, but it doesn't home anymore. It used to sort of home and go. There we go, and yeah, we've got to go, grab things that's like ammo, and then you over there. What's the range on the auto, the auto lock? There we go, not so bad. Get over here, stay in cover, and there was one more. Oh, no, you don't. Bye. Right, you are in trouble. Okay, so I see how this goes, and is there still manual? If there is a manual on L2, it hasn't activated yet. So, yeah, the auto throw. Teaching us that nice and early. And we can climb, get into a high position. There's going to be less snow up here, but what can you do, eh? And uh, there's a kid over there. And I see you down over there. There we go. Do I have any snow? There we go. Snow. And, oh, blimey, did you just say your parents don't love you to the children? Okay, that's that's mean, but I kind of like it. It's it's fine. And go! Oh, down the slide. And screw it. Just just charge him. Charge him. Charge the blue one. I think I've got the blue one yet. So, I need to be... Oh, this is competitive. I completely missed the scoring aspect. Grab a thing. And one more, one more, one more. Boom. Win for us. Eat it, shrimps. Hey. How's it feel? No. Get her. Help me. You'll never get away with this. Oh, she's good with kids. That's cute. Oh, the freaking monsters. All right. All right. We actually have some work to do. Scrap. Oh, man. I guess I asked for that, huh? Yep. Oh, that's cute. She's good with kids. That was very, very cute indeed. Now, particularly like how she specifically yelled at them, your parents don't love you, which is such a horrible thing to say. But she just said it anyway. Okay, I quite like Dina. Right, let's be on our way. We'll see what's going on here because, uh, yeah, Ellie, she's... Okay, we're definitely still in the town. Maybe the town moved. So, Jesse wants us to do the creek trails. He's gonna relieve Joel and Tommy. Oh, that's nice he assigned us together. You're gonna Morning, like this Morning. All right, stables. So we're doing more horseback riding. Because, yeah, lots of horses floating about. Good, good, good. Are we sharing a horse or are we like, is that a double saddle? I have no bloody clue. And, yeah, here we go. That's a good girl. Look who's here. Thanks. All right. Horse each by the Luke's Yobber. Come on. All right. Guessing everyone's just taught how to ride in this society. Hey, Shimmer. Oh, look who decided to join us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One for you. And one for you. Open it up. Settle down, children. All right. You all know the drill. Run your routes. Mark your log books, clear any infected you see. You run into anything you can't handle, you come back. Be smart about it. All right, get going. All right, this all makes sense. We run in pairs, we've got designated routes. The instruction is fall back if it looks even remotely dicey. Yeah, the way the society setup seems to make sense and it appears that, yeah, I own my own pistol, but like the big rifles are like publicly owned and handed out to people who are heading out into the world. Ooh, that's nice snow. That's some nice snow trails right there. Love it.
All right, so where am I right now? Do we, like, have a little safe house? We just, like, lodge in overnight if we're doing long trips? I guess so. Ooh, that's some nice fabric. Oh, check out the fabric. That's very technically impressive. dreaming about was I talking you're doing your teeth grinding thing where have you been grab your gear I want to show you something what trust me Okay, where are we, who are we, and what's going on here, precisely? Come on, this way. Because officially you two don't have names, you're just man and woman. So... Okay. To be honest, I don't 100% trust anyone who, like, you know, lures me outside by myself and won't tell me why. You sure you don't want to do this when the sun's out? And it's warmer? No. Can't wait. And you don't want to just tell me? You need to see it. <laughs> Ooh, I've got a jump button now. I can jump. All right. It's a little bit of a small jump, but it's a jump. So, okay. I'm guessing we might be about to establish a threat with these unnamed characters who might be about to die, like, immediately in order to establish a threat that's coming for Ellie and Joel. We keep going like this. We're going to be tired for today's trip. It's not that far. Hey, is Mel okay? She seemed out of it these past few days. She'll be fine. You stop being weird. You're freaking me out. I'm not being weird. Okay. So just avoid river. <laughs> Try not to get wet. Good idea. Are you breaking up with Mel? What? No. You wish. Uh, I've had my fill. Thank you. Yep, sprint jump. Fair enough. That's all nice and simple. You can't all be as graceful as you. Clearly. What is that? You'll be fine. It's too high. Come on. Okay. This strikes me as dangerous. Eyes on me. Abby. Stop looking down. We have to go back this way? Consider it an opportunity to work on your fears. How about I work my foot up your ass? Abby, stop flirting. <laughs> okay, they've got names, Abby and Owen. Possibly they're not about to die at the end of this scene. When they were just man and woman, I was working under the assumption they were going to die to establish threat. But I don't trust this Owen chap, mind. All right. We've done this before. When Ellie ran into a random person, it turned out to be David. All right. Didn't work out. Then again, I'm supposed to know this guy. But he is acting weird. All right. Don't be a David, Owen. Oh, it's our town. We made it. Holy shit. They were looking for us. It's a fucking city. Yeah. Have you told anyone else? I wanted you to see it first. I saw an armed patrol go from town to an outpost over there. A few more outposts in between. They have electricity, guns. It's a lot of people. We can figure it out. Oh shit, are we raiders? Okay. 
Assuming he's in there, how do we get to him? We can corner one of the patrols and get confirmation, and then, I don't know, maybe find a way to lure him out. Oh. Yeah, okay. I'm sure they'll be happy to offer that information up. <laughs> well, then we make them. Do you hear yourself? We're the families of the Fireflies. Okay, what do you want to do? What is going on with you? Joel killed a lot of people. This will be the families. Mel's pregnant. Oh. Okay. It's not just that, though. Should I say congrats? When everyone else sees us, they're going to want to turn back. We can convince them, right? I fucking knew I couldn't count on you. Happy. I want what you want. But not at any cost. Hey. Don't! See you back at the lodge. Yeah, Abby's one hundred percent related to one of the fireflies that died in the hospital. We did very clearly establish the number of people that died there, so uh, they're after Joel, and I can't blame them to be perfectly honest. Fuck it. Okay, so we've got an Abby. Now I think I've got it figured out. So yeah, if I'm playing as someone who's not Abby, then. Do not trust Abby. Thing on my own. Because I feel like she's... She's after a Joel. And... Yeah, in all fairness, like, you know... Depends how much she knows. How justified she is personally really depends on how much she knows. But if she knows the full story... Yeah, she's, um... She's not wrong to be a bit annoyed about what Joel did. So let's just try and find someone. And, aha! Prone! Okay, so I've got more movement options than I used to have. Got it. Yeah, we got ourselves... We got corpses, but infected or not. Alright, just investigate. He's not looking alive, Abbey. I'm gonna be honest. Alright, three bullets is... Not much. Like, it takes more than that to put down Joel. He just nips down, does a med kit, but... Who are these people? I mean... There's a lot of them. Yeah. Are they ours? Or possibly raiders that challenged us? Because, yeah, these days we're pretty set up. This is... This is a lot of people. If this many people had gone missing in one place, it would have been mentioned. Surely. So... Who are all these? Unless they were attacked by infected or just caravan or something. Something like that might be. Alright, be ready. I'm feeling infected jump scare coming up. Round this corner, potentially. Prepare for quick time event. Oh, yep. Yeah. Alright. Not actually a jump scare, but, you know, a bit of a surprising thing. So, we just need to get rid of you. Okay. What's... Oh! Okay, there we go. There's the jump scare. Right, so, escape grapple. Yep, that's fine. Press repeatedly. Um... I'm pressing repeatedly. I'm pressing. I'm pressing so repeatedly. There we go. All right, time for a gun. I'm feeling and dodge. Oh, I've got a dodge now. And then melee. Punch, punch, punch some more. Stamp on him when he's down. Are we good? Any more? I'm hearing something. What is that? What's? Yeah, I hear ya. I hear ya. I hear ya, and boop! Completely missed! Okay, so dodge. That's now the new thing we need to do. When they swing, you come in for a dodge, and then you follow up with a punch. Okay, dodge, then punch. That's how we do. Got it. Can't open up this. Can I climb up here? No. Okay, fair enough. Where am I off to? Aha! Up here through here, I'm guessing. Yep, there we go. And a flashlight. Beautiful. Alright, stay hidden. Look for... Actually, maybe don't bother looking for loot. I feel like, yeah, we'll be going back to Ellie. So Ellie will be the one we're looting with, but... 
There's noise in here. Okay. But infected don't see torches. At least they didn't used to. They might do now. They never used to. Alright. No sign of trouble. Three bullets. Boom. Reload. So yeah, it's uh, fire if you're aiming. Reload if you're not. And we need to go... Aha. We need to go prone to go through narrow areas. Okay. A bad idea, Abby. It really is, you know. You're going up against a whole town by yourself. And they're not going to need the whole... Oh, flip. And they don't need the whole town to defeat you. Do you have any idea how murdery Ellie and Joel are just by themselves? Seriously. You are going to be in a lot of flipping trouble. Alright. You couldn't take on Joel by himself. Never flipping mind the rest of the town. Tommy, Ellie, Maria, all the rest of them. You are in trouble. So, okay. Where are we right now? Torch can be off for the moment. Up over this, can't up over that. Okay, need to find our way to, yeah, that place where I'm assuming I'm going to, like, you know, just lie my way inside, if at all possible. Okay. It's got to be close. Oh, hello. We got people. And listen is still a thing. Not quite as precise as it used to be. So, yeah, sneak up on them Grab them from behind. Okay, we're just going over the basics here. We're just going over the basics. So, what sort of thing are you? I don't know, but you're holding still. Okay, you're just a basic runner who hasn't woken up yet. So, grab and then shiv. No, stealth kill is now on, uh, actually on uh, square. Not triangle. Fair enough. Little neck break. Bit of ammo. Reload the gun. Keep on keeping on. Okay, we're just doing the basics here. Just doing the basics while we're meeting the cast. Though, yeah. How long Abby will be uh, hanging about, I don't know. Now I know she wants to kill Joel. She'll be around a little bit longer. Whether it's going to be, you know, that long or not. There we go. Around the back of you. Go. Stealth kill. Stealth kill. Stealth kill. Stealth kill. And neck goes pop. And down you go. Beautiful. Right. Keep on listening. There's another one over there. Oh. Okay. Do you recognise the corpse of your friends? And then you go back this way. Alright. We'll go and do the, the looting later. Where would you just go? We just went over here. And now grab him. And stealth kill. Alright. Nice and simple. Especially now I'm on a harder difficulty. I'm going to be wanting to keep things quiet. If I can. Alright. Do not cause trouble unless you absolutely have to. And there was another bullet there. Marvelous. Okay, I've got some spare ammo if it all goes to hell. Alright. And we go a little bit more ahead. I see something on the far side of that car. Yeah. Okay. Hide behind the car. I'm guessing the dynamic cover system is still in place. So, the game kind of says hey, you know what? You're behind cover. That's like, you know, good enough. Now, what are you doing, by the way? You're going over, over there. Hopefully that's good in... No! Okay, got a bit lucky there, but I'll flip and take it. So down you go. Pop goes the neck, weasel, and on to the next. Okay, they're still dropping a little bit. Little bit of ammo. And okay, now there's two. Are we about to learn about, you know, throwables and distractibles by any chance? Oh, there's... There's three actually. Okay, that's a little bit more on the concerning side. I see you right there. I see you right there. If that one over there doesn't see me, then I might be able to get this one before there's any trouble. Yeah, so get you first. Get you. The problem is your kill animation is pretty bloody slow. It takes you a while to make the neck go pop. Get over here. Grab another bullet in case this is all about to go wrong. Okay, I see you over there. I see you over there. So I can move a little bit further forward. Alright, just move a tiny bit further forward here. And I see... Oh, 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 no, you're coming back in this direction, actually. Okay, go. Get over here. No, actually, you're over there. Okay, 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 okay. One of you's way over there. One of you's over here. So now we just need to... Ooh, uh, 
you're about to grab her if you can. Grab, 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 grab. There might be one left, but if it's just one, I can just do a dodge and a grab. Snap the neck. Hurry it up, Abby. Abby, hurry at the flip up, because I feel like you've been spotted here. And no, you haven't. Are we good? Oh, no, he's coming back this way, unfortunately. Getting to cover. Just, just getting away with this. Skin of my teeth here. And triangle him. Gotcha. Flawless. And do we get a special animation if it's the last one? Because we always used to. Tragically, no on this occasion. Dear, oh dear. Still, if I can kill them with no ammo cost, take it. And I'm guessing I was supposed to just, you know, creep past them to teach me about creeping. But screw it. Instead, I've decided to kill them all. Because I can, because I've just come off one. So I at least vaguely know what I'm doing. Oh, this feels like a very tiny Doom Marina. Keep the gun ready to go. It's fully reloaded. I've got full health, so... Okay. No trouble just yet. No trouble just yet. And low visibility like we have back in town. David's town. Aha. Horse Is that horses? Tracks. Yep. Where's the patrol? Now, is this the same day, though? Because, yeah, the weather seems very different. Possibly this is a bit in the future or the past, because uh, that seems like a very localised storm. Then again, Ellie was going to a different area, the creeks. Might be more sheltered there. Come on. This way. So I'm guessing we're just right patrolling ahead. here. Just, you know, checking for trouble and whatnot. And now I assume I've got some more guns. You miss being with him? With Jesse? <laughs> no. We've been together for so long. Look, Jesse's great. I love his parents. They will always be family, but we were just on autopilot. Hey, how come we never talked about this stuff? I don't know. It didn't feel... You never really talked to me about Kat. Yeah, because there isn't much to talk about. Yow. I just, I, I got the impression that you didn't really like her. I don't care about her one way or the other. Oh, she was jealous. Okay. No, I think she's a talented artist. I've grown to like that tattoo of yours. Well, that's so big of you. And I think she wasn't right for you. Interesting. Shut up. Okay. Ah, the paints. Did you by any chance sort of try and get into art because your girlfriend at the time was into art? By any chance, hang on, hang on. Sorry, I'm playing with snow for a second. Because some of these branches you can sort of interact with and... Okay, the physics and the uh, the hitbox on them are a little bit on the wobbly side, but what can you do? Hang on, try a fresh tree. Try a fresh tree over here. Okay, they're trying to interact and apparently we're going somewhere so can we hop over this yeah we've now got to manually jump you don't just sprint into a log anymore aha garage so where are we and what are we doing precisely hey you want to see something spectacular you're gonna point at your face aren't you <laughs> nothing is that spectacular oh brother come on stupid Okay, well, I'll do that in a second, but I can't help but sense a side room with looting opportunities. I can see why Ellie might like Dina, because, yeah, I think she's starting to not be so keen on Joel being so overprotective, because, you know, that makes sense. That 100% makes sense, because Joel did basically pretty much the worst thing imaginable in order to keep Ellie safe and, you know, hang around with Ellie. So it makes sense that he might be a bit, you know, clingy and overprotective going forward. And Ellie, you know, being a young woman who's starting to grow up, is starting to resent that a bit. So Joel treats her like a kid and someone who needs to be protected. And Dina clearly just treats her like, you know, another person. She's happy to talk to her just normally. And Ellie didn't really get much of that. Lots of people were like, you know, when she was growing up on the journey, Oh, you're so special. Your life matters so much more. We must protect you. And Dean just doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to care. She's just, you know, another person. They're just two people talking. So, 
I can see why Ellie would be up for that. And what do you have, my friends? And, oh, it's Riley. She reminds me a bit of Riley. Riley spoke to Ellie in the same way. Ah, that makes sense. That would be why Ellie was cool with her. And we got a view. That's not our town, though. It's not walls. Now you think of this view, huh? It's pretty nice. Yeah, this route has its perks. Oh, yeah, she's into me. Where are we signing? <laughs> Come on. Fuck. Okay, am I about to say or do something stupid by any flipping chance? And she's already gone, fair enough. Who do you used to do this route with? Jesse? Eugene. Right. Ah, oh, Eugene. Man, he was funny. Oh, yeah. Plus, he taught me about rewiring electronics and stuff. May we all be that sharp at 73. May we all make it to 73. Through here. I'm guessing he's gone now. But then, yeah, in this world, death is just a fact to life. All right. Bit of climbing. Nothing too special here. Okay, clamber up. And yeah, did we just say something about signing in? Like a logbook. Sign us in. Uh-huh. Just to... What was this place? Prove we did the route or something? Uh, it used to be a radio tower. So, okay. One little logbook. But first, looting. Sorry. Um, I did hang out with Joel for a very long time. So, I see a room I looted. I'm really sorry. It's a personality flaw. No sign of infected... Or non-infected, for that matter. Ah, are we about to run into... Uh... Seeing a storm a couple miles out. Yeah, Abby. We are totally about to run into Abby. That'll be the storm she's in. Okay, so we're about to collide with someone who 100% wants Joel dead. I am very confident. And here we go. We got ourselves... Ah, not just a record of who did it, but a record of... Uh what you actually saw. So if there's patterns to be noticed, like infected showing up in one place or a particular kind of infected showing up, you'd notice the patterns make sense. And on some occasions, yeah, they'd actually camp out here if the weather deteriorated. So uh, two adults. Ah, sometimes they also actually saw people. So if they do run into people, two adults, one child in need of medical attention, uh, will be skipping the next lookout and taking them straight to town. So... Uh, Okay, if they run into survivors, they do bring them into the town. So, uh, logically, yeah, even though I'm pretty confident I know what Abby wants, yeah, if we run into her, we'll be taking her straight to where Joel is, which is a concern. Give it a sign. We've not seen anything, so this should be all clear. Marvellous. So, okay, job done. Come here. I'm guessing you've just seen an Abby. Town up ahead's our last stop. Take a look. Okay. Looting by any chance? We'd have looted it dry by now, presumably. I see a strip mall? Oh, with the supermarket? No, town's past that. All right. Up here in that case. Here's the town. With the big tower thing? Yep. That's where the next lookout is. All right. Need to presumably get to that tower. Good spot to just, you know... Have a poke about, see if you see anything moving. Gotcha. And that will be... Uh, that'll be the yeah, storm Abby's storm. stuck in. Gonna have some good sledding tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Abby would presumably be heading in the same direction uh, to the nearest town. So, uh, okay, we'll be meeting her right here. Gotcha. Let's get back to the horses. Question. Were you wearing those same clothes yesterday? Yes, and I don't want to talk about <laughs> it. clean. No judgment. It's patrol, you know. We're here to kill infected, not to look fancy. Still look nice. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, Ellie. I fully understand that you want to just wear the same thing every day if you're on patrol to kill infected. That's eminently reasonable. Right, on the horses, let's be on our way. 
I think we should go out like Eugene. From a stroke? No, oh, from old age, like living a long life. You? No way, come on, you're way too reckless. Oh, look who's talking. Well, you'll probably die from hypothermia from wearing canvas sneakers in the snow. I am wearing boots today. You know how you're gonna die? Mm, let me guess, you're gonna kill me? No, maybe. Fuck you. Oh, I quite like that Ellie's just got someone around who's happy to sass her. She didn't have that in her life previously. Well, apart from Riley, which is why I think she likes Dina. Hey, should we check these houses out? Seems quiet, but we can if you want. I bet they still got supplies. <laughs> All right, bit of looting in that case. No trouble here. Don't hear any clicking, so... What do you know about this place? Just another evacuated neighborhood. Infected almost never make it out this far. We usually catch them on the outer perimeter. All right, so here we go. Parks, beautiful. These trailers are neat. Nice little portable home. You think people really traveled a lot in these things? Oh, well, wouldn't you? I mean, if I'd lived pre-outbreak, yeah, I'd go see the whole country. Or travel to another country. Maybe one day we will. <laughs> Keep dreaming. All right, so we're just going about doing a bit of uh, looting. Jesse talked a lot about going to Canada. He said there's these like giant waterfalls out there he wanted to see. Really? He's such a hardcore Jackson guy. Everybody's got their dream. All right. What are you doing tonight? Uh, I was thinking of inviting Joel to watch a movie. Oh, you guys good yeah what movie are you guys gonna watch what's joel into uh curtis and viper 2 that's the one that's been on my radar for a while oh wow well, we used to watch these cheesy 80s action movies he's really into them oh no oh i actually really like them too what about you what are you doing later some people were talking about sneaking out, going sledding. <laughs> that sounds fun. Yeah. Ugh. You want to meet up after? Uh, okay. Maybe I'll play guitar for you. Okay. Aw, Joe taught me. What's Curtis and Viper 2 about? Okay, so two former commandos that go rogue to fight bad guys. And I think in this one, they go up against Russian spies or something. I'm more interested in this than I thought I would be. All right, so the young one, Viper, he's a trained ninja. And he's a complete badass. So how old is he in the first movie? Uh, ten. Wait, how many movies did they make of this? Uh, I think they made four? Jeez. Joel actually saw the last one in the theater. Am I crazy? Yes. You think anybody out there is still making movies? Has to be. How do you know? I mean, what if they're all just like us? Just surviving day to day. <sighs> well, I write new music, so someone had a camera. Wait, hold up. <sighs> There are original Ellie songs? Why haven't you played any for me? Well, I, I... I don't know. Come on. Will you play one for me? Tonight? Mm. I'll think about it. Oh, I've inherited Joel's awkwardness. And yeah, you want to know a really fun fact about Joel I looked up? Which is, um... Actually, canonically, he's only supposed to have been born two years before me. Me and Joel are canonically supposed to be about the same age, because bear in mind, of course, because of the 20 year time jump, this game is set slightly in the future. So uh, as a result of that, yeah, me and Joel are supposed to be about the same age. Grumpy Murder Dad and me and Claire are all pretty much the same age as each other, which is horrifying and terrifying, but there you flipping go. Okay, let's check out the new crafting system as well. So, yeah, what we've actually got is uh, health kits and uh, 
Yeah, I can't make anything right now. I can't make a flipping thing. So, fair enough. And I have picked up a tiny bit of medicine, but okay. Listen mode movement speed. Fair enough. So, ah, moving while you're listening. Okay, that's new. So, fast health kits, that's traditional. More health, that's traditional. Then, listen mode movement speed 2. Fair enough. And uh, endurance, hang on. Endure. Is there going to be another one called Survive? Is there going to be Endurance Survive? Because that's wonderful. So, yeah, Lethal would just leave you at low health, which I'm guessing might be good against the one-hit kill enemies, like Clickers. So, okay, fair enough, I suppose. And yes, indeed, the other tab is my journal. So, yeah, Dina asked if I was going to go to the dance. She touched my arm. Ah, I'm so delusional. Don't be an idiot. So... Okay, yeah, I'm super into Dina too. Okay, you're blatantly into each other, but you're both too awkward to say it out loud because you're... Actually, you're probably not teenagers anymore, but, like, you're very late teenagers, possibly. Oh, Ellie, you big sponge. Okay, I think all the other houses are locked up, so... Back on the horses. Got a bit of loot. I mean, yeah, the gun crafting and pills are worth it by themselves. So, uh, keep on keeping on deeper into town. This all looks, yeah, way more locked up. Not sure we can loot any of this. Oh. Hang on. Infected. Because they ate it where it fell. What the fuck? Oh, that smell. Looks like Infected did this. How many do you think it would take to bring down a moose? Quite a few. Those things are tough. Than one. Where the hell are they? Let's go find them. Alright, so equip the long gun. Fair enough, just for safety. Though if we can stealth them, good idea. And aha! Quickly swapping weapons. Was that a thing in The Last of Us 1? Because if it was, I made it through the whole game without knowing that. So, okay. Be aware. Shit. Yeah, I hear trouble. I hear some inside. How many have we got? How did they get in there? Two. More importantly, how do we get in there? All right. We need to sneak on him. See a bunch of different tracks. Yeah. Dina, this way. Right here. Boom. <laughs> this looks like a good safe way in because they're in the next room over. So this is. Oh. Never mind. That was. No, that was not. That was a torch light, not one of... Is that one of... No, that was one of them! I thought it was the torch, but it wasn't. Okay, so we sneak, we stealth kill. We don't shoot unless we have to. All right, them's the rules. So we grab and we stab. There we go, nice. Down you go, my friends, down you go. Now we start looting and we look for the other two. Thing. Yeah, suspect two more based on what Let's I just saw. Get around to the back of the supermarket. All right. Good idea. This is locked. Fine. Out we go. <gasps> Round we go. Nothing too dramatic. And locked doors can be opened from the other side. They couldn't. Not in the old game they flipping couldn't, but apparently now they can. So, there we go. Now that's an escape. Though then again, maybe we wouldn't actually want that to be a thing. Like, it's entirely possible we might want not open doors for me to, you know, retreat behind, potentially. And nothing we can actually use here, but loot at the bare minimum. All right. Keep on keeping on. And... Oh, that's going to cause trouble. Yeah, that's going to make noise. Okay, uh, go, 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 go. Toss the thing. Yep, quick throw. Strange grab. And then strike. Okay. There we go. So, yeah. Throw into strike. Still works. You good? Yeah. Nice throw, by the way. Thanks. All right. Grab a few more of them. The way we came in was barricaded. How'd that runner get in here? Yeah. it's a good question. Well, if we're getting in... Could well be recently infected. What's the most infected you've ever taken down on patrol? It's gotta be the one I had with Joel a year or so ago. It was like, I don't know, a dozen? You? Cleared about 20 once. There was a group passing through. Fuck. 
Then maybe we'll get you a new personal record today. Aha, follow the blobs. Don't look for yellow anymore, look for blobs. This way. More runners. And oh, stay down, stay low. Let's keep it going. Let's see how it goes. Okay, that's the other one. The other one I think's got their back over here. So grab and stab because my kill animation is much faster. Uh, Dina, if you'd like to get that one over there. Good job, Dina. Thank you. Right. Job done there. Two for one. So yeah, double takedowns if you've got a friend. That's still a thing. Good. Good, good, good. How many more have we got? I'm not seeing. There's something over there. And two in here. All right. Move in. Take cover. We don't want to fight. Part of the difficulty, the less you want an actual, you know, fight. So, are you in the same room? You are... Yeah, you're just outside. I feel like we might want to take you out first. Okay, because you're over there. There's one over there. You're the only one who's actually moving. If we stab him now, that's going to cause trouble. Uh, you gonna go back over there? Yeah, you're gonna go back over there. Good boy. Uh, right, I'm gonna get over here. We're gonna hop out the window and we're gonna get that guy from behind. And then at the bare minimum, we've got a good choke point. They have no choice but to come through. Get. Stab. And... Did they see that? I don't think he did. Good, we just got away with that one. Should have picked up the brick, by the way. Would be nice to have a throwable these days. Uh, okay. Wait for him to do his little loop. Because he does his little loopy loop. Alright, now we should be safe to pop through over here. And grab a brick. Because, yeah, brick is basically a free kill against the basic lads. Uh, but I don't think we need to... Not urgently, anyway. Where's the other one? The other one's back over here. If I take you out, I'm not sure... Does your friend hear it? Because it's supposed to be a stealth kill. So... Do you want to get that one? Thank you, Dina. All right, we make a good team. Marvellous. Right, nice and easy. No trouble. And bottle. Bottle, bottle. I'm on the bottle. Okay, seriously. No, 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 no. No. Get rid of this. Get rid of stupid brick. Bottle. The superior throwable. Boom. And that seems to be yeah. all of them. Good. Good, good, Looks good. Like Quick loot, then we'll be on our way. we still got to get the ones in the supermarket. Let's keep circling the building. There's got to be a way in. And yeah, even on hard mode, they're not dropping as much ammo as I'm used to, but they're dropping, like, a little bit. They're still dropping a little bit here, so uh, it'll do. It'll flip and do. Yeah, and I'm making a profit on ammo because I'm not fighting. So uh, we're in good shape for now at least. So, okay, how do we get in the, uh, the supermarkets itself? Well, there's a pallet here, so hopefully... I've learned to swim. I really hope there's a moment where that happens. Where we come across some water and Dina says, Hey, do you know how to swim? And Dina replies, Yes, because obviously I bothered to actually, you know, learn after all of the trouble that occurred because I couldn't swim previously. Oh, and we're doing boosting. Yes, who's boosting who though? Okay, boost her first. Fair enough. If she gets eaten, she's not me. So that's probably good news. And to be honest... Um... There's a hole in the roof over there. Here. All right. Need a fire escape or something to get up, though. Thanks. Look. See? All right. Let's figure out how to get in there. Yeah, if there was a fire escape or a fire ladder or something, that would presumably be the easiest way to make that happen. Drop down. Go prone. And yeah, I'm starting to learn how the world fits together. Just be ready for trouble here. Alright. Uh, listen. Alright. Seems to be clear for the fact. Okay, never mind. Uh, Dina. Dina. Do you want to, like, take care of this, please? Because bloody hell. Good job. Ellie? Are you clean? Yeah. Oh. Just banged up. Please die of old age and not because you get infected. She doesn't know. I really don't want to have to shoot you in the face. <laughs> Deal. Okay. Cool. I don't have a health kit. Um, I can't make one. 
I'm guessing, buddy chance, is there booze and rags in this trailer right here? No, but there are some parts, so I'll gladly be helping myself to that. Right, in the back entrance. Keep on listening out. Grab all of this stuff. Aha! This has got to be what we need. Yep, there is. That's not a rag. That's a note. Sorry, my mistake. I'm sorry to God for what I did. I wasn't going to hurt you. I didn't want anything from your store except for drugs. Your husband came at me. What choice did I have? Ah, this will be just after Apocalypse Day when, yeah, hoarding and people got desperate. Gotcha. See any way to that roof? Uh, not sure. Okay, looks like we should be able to clamber up onto the roof without it being uh, too difficult. If you just were to give me a boost, like right here. But clearly the game's got something else in mind. I mean, I can get up to here. Ah, we're not boosting. We're doing a sprinty jump. Got it. And go. Job done. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're now doing more climby jumpy. So it's a little bit more open than it used to be. Though, seriously, game, I could do with a health kit here. And... I'm in. Listen. We're good for now. Okay, seriously. Need that health kit. Anytime you're ready. Aha! Found a hey. bottle of booze. Got some alcohol. A couple of rags. Here. Fix yourself up. All right, nice and simple. Good. Was expecting that sooner or later. So, now know how to do that. Got what I need. Craft one thing. Use one thing. Spectacular. So, all as it ever was. I see spores in there. Masks on. Got it. Okay. I'm wearing a mask, but I don't need one. Why am I lying to people? Maybe just to avoid, like, you know, them asking too many questions. Is it going to get pulled off? Remember. And I have to explain. I don't want to have to shoot you in the face. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. It's going to get pulled off and I'm going to have to explain if I had to flipping guess. All these spores mean they've been here for a while. Keep your eyes peeled for older infected. Yep. Ah. Longer. That means flippers. Oh. And we're being separated. And now trouble. And yeah, there we go. Sort that out, please. Yeah, it's the clicks. Except, of course, sometimes you don't want to fire. Okay. Good, 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 good. Don't fire unless you have to. Good call. Are we running now? We might be. Oh no, we're clicking. Okay. Okay. Do we necessarily want to be throwing things at them? Yeah, I know. Okay. We can pull them away from where we are with throwables, but we should try and avoid it because that just just agitates them. Okay. See you back there. You're moving in the right direction to be stabbed in a second. Just close up the stab. There we go. Gotcha. Get him. Number one. And that's a stealth kill. Should be nice and calm. Yeah, okay. Nothing too dramatic. Clickers, after you get over how creeper they are, aren't so bad. For the simple reason that, yeah, as long as you just control your movement, they're not so bad. It was always stalkers that freaked me out because stalkers activated clickers and bloaters. So, where have you gone, my friend? Where are you? Would you like to walk in that direction? Because if you would, I'd really appreciate it. If you want to walk in this direction, that'd be less good. Darn it. Over there. Oh, never mind. We got him. He didn't have time to run. I think it was just the two. All right. Two clickers down. Probably not a bloater yet, right? Be a bit harsh to give us a bloater in the tutorial. Those blind motherfuckers make my skin crawl. Let's make sure the rest of the building's cleared out. And then get the fuck out of here. Good expositioning there, Speaking Dina. Blind. Thank you for mentioning they're blind. Uh, yeah. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Though this is a pharmacy, so just double check for, for pills before we're moving on here. This could be good stuff right over here. Nope. Seems to have been picked clean long ago by the Lucy of it. Oh! Okay, some stuff you just bump against and it interacts with you, like that tree branch. That's nice. Environment seems to be a bit more uh, 
interactive than it used to be. Right, we go in. I saw someone over here. I swear I just saw a triangle over here. Ellie, found the door. Help me out. Ah, two people needed to uh, open it together. Gotcha. From the knees. And go. Lovely job done. Is there going to be a bloater behind that door? I'll tell you what I'm more concerned about, though. Now I've got a hometown, and we know there's trouble coming. So, are we going to get back, and is it on fire? Grab everything. Just grab the lot. Keep on keeping on, and... Aha! Molotov! Sweet! Here. Thanks. Alright. In the event of trouble, good stuff. Yeah, lovely. Oh, yeah, the game is just throwing the little pills at me. This is marvellously good stuff. Okay, before we go on to the last few here, yeah, can we actually afford... Oh, we can afford, like, everything. Okay, well, I'm having more health then. All right, 100%. I wouldn't mind having some more health then again. Listen, speed. Ah, are these in a... No, okay, now they're in a progression tree. So I've got to have this one. So I may as well have it right now. Okay, I see. So you've got a bit less freedom than you used to. I'll be having the boost, by the way. Okay, now I'll move faster while I'm listening. Speaking of which... Three? Looks like three. Alright, through we go. And... What have we got? Aha! I got some numbers here. That's squeaky. Then there was the horse in the background. Hit the runners first. Yeah, 100%. You want to hit the runners first. Dina's probably invisible, just like your partner typically is. And, yeah, we got... Then again, if I take out the clicker, no one can one-shot kill me anymore. So, best I can do. You can't see a thing. Don't want to be doing that just yet. Grab you and stealth kill you. All right. Nice. Quiet. So, that's number one down, but you are the least threatening, to be honest. Uh, where's Captain Squeaky Face? He's right there. He's actually the closest to me right now. I can lead him away anytime I want to. And there's... Is that another squeaky face over there? I think that's two clickers and now one runner. Do we have anyone else? There's another one over there. Okay, yeah, there's, there's four total now. Okay. I'm pretty sure, yeah, two clickers over there, two runners over this side. What we need is to get them down. Once they're down, clickers are nothing. But runners together, that can be a problem. You're moving more like a stalker, to be perfectly honest, which is a concern. Uh, would you just like to hold precisely still? Because if you would, I'd really appreciate it. Because you're in a great spot to be knifed right now. Come on, 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 come on. Get her. Stab her. Please. Don't let the other... Yeah, bring him down, bring him down. Nice and calm, bring him down. Where's the other? Where's the other one? Wherever he is, he's not close by. Uh, I think that might be you right there. Fall back a little bit if you can. Oh, there's... That's a clicker. That's a clicker. You are the... That's the runner. Okay. I might want to take out the clicker right now, to be honest. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Okay. The runner goes down without any noise whatsoever. We're in good shape. Let's move in this direction because that clicker's not doing a thing to me anyway. Just move real slow. The slower I move, the more likely the runner might see me. But if I take out one of the clickers, one solid shot in the head should be enough anyway. Where is... Oh, this is arguably not where I want to be. Uh, yeah, I see you right there. You're moving in this direction. Okay. What I want is him done. Actually, you know what? I could just take him out with anything and then just toss a bottle and then we'd be in good shape. Okay, here we go. This is this is it. This is the moment for you to go down. This is the moment for you to go down. This is the moment for you to go down. And go. And stealth. And that's it. Runner's done. Boom. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Right flipping there. Now we should be safe. Okay. Grab the rags. And now we just move a little bit more in this direction. You were a little bit upset, but not that bad. And now, now we just ambush the clicks. Okay, you see this? This is why it's good to do one, then straight into two. Because then, you know what you're doing. Then you know what you're doing. Because you, my friend, what are you going to do to me? Nothing. Right, just wait. Wait. At the big gun, just in case. I'd like you to move, please. I'd like you to move. I'd like you to move. I'm I'm aware. I'm, I'm aware of I'm aware of clickers. Go, 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 go. There we go. 
Okay, that was a little bit tight, by the way. And they're just as creepy and disgusting as they ever were. They seem to be also dropping rags, but I guess they're wearing clothes, so story checks out. Should be, if I'm right, one more over, one more over there. Yeah, so just get behind him. Okay, so yeah, I still know how it goes. This is, uh, I like how it's skipping straight into it. Like, you know, the sort of stuff it took like a third of the game to get to in Last of Us 1, we're just getting to in the tutorial of 2. They've skipped right up to the, you know, the slightly more advanced tactics class, which is good. So I'm getting a bit of a challenge straight away, but this here... I'm pretty happy with how this has gone. Because in a perfect world, you want to never be using your firearms on these guys. Maybe the bow on occasion, alright? Bow on occasion, that's fine, because that's quiet. But for the most part, yeah, you want to just be taking these guys out with a quiet stab in the rear. Especially now shivs aren't a thing anymore. Now shivs ain't a thing. We are A-OK. -okay. So, we just need to get behind you. Nice and slow. And then one shiv or whatever straight in the back. Slow it all down, please. Slow it all down. And this seems good to me. Just going to wait for that prompt. Just going to wait for that prompt. Come on. Come on. Come on. Gotcha. Job done. Nice. Textbook. And I don't mean that for once. I'm not just being sarcastic. I actually think I did that pretty well. Lovely. Job done. Oh, hang on. Apparently there was one more I just wasn't aware existed. Um, I don't know what his deal is. But yeah, there's, there was, okay, there was just one more runner who I just missed on this side of the room. So that's, that's good. That's, that's fine. Okay, so textbook aside from the fact I literally missed a runner who was actually here the, um, the whole time. Uh, so that's good. Excuse me, would you mind not ruining this for me? Please don't ruin this for me. Please don't. Okay, now seriously. This was going very well until you sort of, you know, made it messy and made me look like a fool. Right, so now you're dead. That's your punishment. And he's still moving? Uh, nope. All right, we're good. Masks oh. off, job done. I'm impressed with us. Yeah. Man, the guys are not going to believe our numbers. All right. So that was, what, about okay. 13 or something? Let's go to the next lookout. And take a fucking break. We earned it. Yeah. Agreed. Good job all round. Nice, simple tutorial. So yeah, very comfortable, familiar territory. Or rather... Oh. Where are we going? Out the top? Not 100%. Ah, might be able to clamber on all of this. Nope, we're not getting up that way. Yeah, now we've got the, uh, the traditional stuff out of the way. I'm guessing now we're going on to... Uh, the new stuff. So this was just, you know, the reminder. Or for the people who hadn't played the original. Now we're going on to, uh, I'm guessing, uh, new bits and pieces. Right, so, lift up the old shutters, possibly together. And, uh, hopefully, we're done with the... Oh, never okay. mind. Here's what we're gonna do. You're just gonna hurl me up through that hole in the roof. <laughs> okay. Aha! There's something down over here, though. Cable what is... Here. What is this? Ah! Cable! Which is apparently useful. Yeah. That should hold us. Okay, so we got ourselves- Ooh! I've been looking forward to this! I saw a gif about rope physics in this game. How the rope physics is actually pretty darn good. So yeah, you can probably like get- Okay. Yeah, you've, you've slightly disappointed me there. I'd heard good things about the rope physics. And yes, it's fun that you can actually sort of, you know, have the rope all around things. But like, you know, I was hoping to sort of tie things up, to be perfectly honest. Okay, if I, if I get down, if I get down, if I get down on the ground, and now I've got the... Ah, oh, you can't hold the rope while down on the ground, boo. Okay, what if I'm like a little bit down? If I'm like a little bit down, then... No, you need to be standing to carry the rope. Okay. So, you want me to, like, I assume, toss the rope over the top of uh, this, right? So, yeah, like, over the top there. Yeah. There we go. Fuck then yeah. tie it something over there, or, like, one person holds it. Like, presumably I'm supposed to hold... No, I don't need to, because it's, it's stuck here. here okay, we well, we're good in that case. Marvellous. Oh, uh, we've got a storm. Yeah, this will be the same storm Abby's in. We're probably about to run into, uh, run into her. Where are the horses, by the way? Did we leave them outside? Because they cannot be happy. Yeah? How far are we from the lookout? Just past the next town. 
All right, we need to get Flippy going, all right? We need to rush there because the poor old horses cannot be happy about life right now. So on our flipping way, please. Okay, this is looking bad and I can't actually see Dina. Dina? Uh-oh. We've got separated. Okay, this is... This is not good. Right, I've been separated from Dina. I'm not 100% sure where I'm supposed to be, uh... I'm supposed to be going right now. And this feels more like a forest. Oh, there we go. Okay, just separating us for fun. Good, good, good. Dina hopefully knows a shortcut. Or we need to find somewhere to camp. I'm not sure we're making it to the tower. Yeah, but what about the horses? The horses are not going to be happy with this. Okay, the horses fit in too. Good. Right, we've got ourselves shelter and yeah, I suspect... Ellie and Abby are going to be meeting very, very soon indeed, which uh, could be a problem because if Abby's who I think she is, she might be able to tell Ellie about the past, and that's that's going to be uh, that's going to be trouble. So we'll see if my instincts are right next time, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, yes, indeed, we will be doing a little bit of a series of this. At the bare minimum, I want to dig in a little bit more. So Monday and Friday slot for Last of Us Part Two for the time being. We'll see if I want to make it a full playthrough, but. Yeah, being fresh from the original, I'm pretty flipping up for this right now. So, hopefully, you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been The Last of Us Part 2. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, wait, and flamethrower! 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 Okay, so this is... This is definitely morally questionable. The point where you start singing the flamethrower song, potentially, you've gone over the line.